Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Monsillon. I saw that I come and continue to speak about uh, this law of one, this um, uh, transcendental psychology of this process of ascension, the tuning in the attention from the outside to the inside in order to, to, to find resolution of our inner parts. For the, the universe is asking, what is your ideal life? What would be the paradise life that you that that uh, that you envision? What are the the the, the, the components? What are the details? What are, what is it that would make your life perfect? What is it you need? And once you know what you need, you can release the vision, and the universe will find. Um, will even add whatever you forgot about it, but they, they will use your highest thoughts and ideas to create your future reality. And it is the same thing in relationship. If you're seeking this ideal relationship, you want to know what you expect from a relationship. For there are millions of people that could function as a soulmate. It depends on our level of consciousness and depend on where we are at. The, the universe will bring us together with uh, somebody that's completely appropriate. And we can even find someone that's so appropriate we're going to be able to go through the rest of of our lives together but it's a but it requires a lot of trust uh, in, in, in your inner self for those are well, um, the predestined relationship that the contract that we draw on that we're going to come together for like families and and so on to, that was before we even came into incarnation what I'm seeking here what I'm here for is to point to the north to give a direction to the, everybody will follow but but it's for the north will always be the north, no matter where we go on the earth, the north will always give us the north, and the south will always be the south, and the east will always be the east, and then the, the, the west will always be the west. So we can rely on certain things in this field of reality, such as gravity. Soon we'll, we'll, we'll discover anti-gravity, spirit is, uh, is preparing me for that. For uh, uh, we want to be more curious about, uh, about ourselves, who we are really, to seek within, to more curious about other people. They are like, uh, just as we are a gold mine, we can, we can find gold within everybody. And more curious about the universe, more curious about God. There's nothing to fear. For we have to recognize our own divinity within ourselves and within other human beings before we can recognize the divinity in extraterrestrials. For they are so different in form. So we first we have to first recognize divinity in, in that which is familiar to us before they can even come. It's okay to express your feelings, your hopes, your fears, your doubts, your your your, your dreams. Uh, it is good to to um, not to give uh, to to give uh, not to somebody that could use that against you. But it's good to be able to express them and to find harmony with people with opposing view. It's important. I know ten years ago, I had many people that I would meet and that I would meet and talk to, and and they would uh, people that are atheists, like pro-war, and it's like. Uh, uh, and at the time, I would have a really hard time to, to go through the conversation and leave this this heavy, intense energy. When now it's like I'm being able to redirect the energy towards something quickly, to something that is more harmonious and peaceful. When I'm confronted with um, Understanding the wind knows better. Sometimes we want to drive, we want to navigate our boat in a certain direction, but the wind will take us, wants to take us somewhere else. So trust that the wind is, there is an intelligence in the wind and in the law of evolution. It's like this painting is about, it's about this process of evolution. Nobody can stop the law of evolution. Evolution has, is a law that God has created at the time of creation that uh, there is, a, but it has to um, encompass all beings and all things through the process of evolution every being and everything need to learn to grow and evolve in a sense huh? um, for most of the confusion comes from the fact that we're trying to figure out mentally all the ins and outs of things so we have to learn to trust the heart and rely on the heart to find this inner shelter for the mental body will eventually we're going to be able to access the fullness of our mental body which is all the experiences for all our past lives and so on so there's a great deal of um, of information that we can draw on from the mind um, and no matter what happens, no matter where you end up, just you can always call on God and connect to God. Once you're connected to God, solutions find themselves. God can never be confronted to any problem that he could not solve. So, so it is about relying on that ability to call on God when you need it and to know that God will come down from from heaven to, to, 
to, to assist you. For everything, the only thing we want is return to the heart of God. And, and everything else is just a detour on the way there. It's like there is nothing else, the return. We left this fear of, of eternal consciousness, immortal consciousness, long, long time ago to go through the samsara, the cycle of time. But eventually, once we become lucid, we know that there is only one thing to do, is to return. And to return, we don't need to go anywhere. We need to go in the, in the center of ourselves, in the depths of our heart. But it's very courageous to be spiritual because being spiritual, not only do you, have, you have only yourself to rely on, nobody to guide you but your heart and to address all the fears and the shadows and all the things that are that are um, inside of you. For if you, some people that are religious, they have all this support system of the religion. But then when they come into spirituality and discover higher truth, sometimes they have a hard time expressing this higher truth because people have closed mind, they're not all open minded within the religions. But uh, and then there is the atheist for some an atheist that can discover spirituality will discover more goodness, compassion, humanity, uh, ecology. Uh, um, but at some point we need to open ourselves to the possibility of. of of the one God first, but also to do all the invisible kingdoms and worlds for the elementals. We'll have to learn the, to, to, to cohabit and, and work with the elementals if we want to pass through the, from the third to the fourth dimension and, and, and once, to, to discover all these elemental kingdoms, the divas, the, the, the ascended masters. And we want also to, to understand that in this fourth dimensional submatrix, um, the, the, all the angels and the ascended masters that work with us make a sacrifice to go down from their higher dimension and to work on the fourth dimension. For personally, I've been opening my mind and consciousness to this whole matrix, so I am able to communicate on many dimensions. But most humans are not, and, and those spirits and angels need to work with all of humanity, and so they, they make the sacrifice to go down to the upper planes of the fourth dimension with the archangels, and it is from there that they, ch they channel, they send the information. And uh, for we eventually we're gonna have to clean up the the lower the, the the junk the the, the sewer of uh, the the lower astral plane. It is something. It's the accumulation of all the nightmares and fears of humanity. And all, first we have to clear up our own. That's the only thing we need to do is to clear up our own to pass through that, and then we'll emerge into the more uh, the fairy realm where all things are possible, where mind becomes energy, energy become mind becomes energy, and energy becomes things matter. And so, uh, so it is courageous to address your inner self, to, to, to seek the inner guidance. For all is still in reality. Our inner self is eternally still. It never moves. It can never move. For it is, uh, it is a stillness that guarantees eternity. But from there, there is all kinds of layers of manifestation of physical consciousness that is ever decreasing away from that center. So there is a part of you that's always still. And to, to remember that, to call on that divine part. So I, I'm, I'm realizing that I have much more power of influence than I than, than I previously suspected. I took my life very lightly. I'm just uh, I'm just a visitor passing through, but I have a lot of responsibility here. And I know even when I just do meditations, I have powerful influence on, on all things. The more you are connected to your source, the more the power of the source becomes important because you, you are serving in, in a higher sense. So it's about continuing to, to stay humble as much as possible, yet to, 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 to develop this self um, this self uh, insurance in this connection for we want to have gratitude and appreciation to have a, an ask asking to for gr with gratitude and appreciation for a life that is peaceful that is harmonious that is creative and full of joy uh, to know that what I want and what I need is coming to me now uh, those are a powerful uh, decree uh, an, an invocation and uh, the more we're gonna be, we're gonna realize that in order to, to continue our ascension, to feel better in our, in our physical skin, we're gonna need to purify our body more and more. And for the value lies in coming out of uh, negative thoughts and negative thoughts and, and, and action to positive thoughts and action. I'm gonna pull a few cards so that I come to discuss those ideas. Uh, I'm gonna pull. F Interesting. For the highest wisdom is breathing. Simple breathing, everything lies in breathing. For when we breathe deeply and we empty out our lungs as much as possible, for we can, uh, can't really do that consciously, we don't have the, the knowledge to do that, but I've, I've, I've been, Spirit shown me once, my lungs empty, like completely empty. And uh, so, so it's like it eliminates all of the carbon monoxide that creates stress. That So it's about being, breathe, taking one breath at a time, enjoying each breath. 
for what we need to understand is the reparation. What is it, those things we need to do in order to harmonize all the aspects of our life? What we, which, that's what we need to understand. What we need to do is again, it's allowing things to come to us rather than going after them. And uh, the outcome is a message in a bottle. So it's listening to the signs. There is oracles and predictions and, and information that will come to you that will indicate the way to the highest good, to your highest good. So it's about paying attention to the sign and being in a receptive mode today. For, uh, in a sense, uh, well, in a sense uh, what we're dealing with, we're all dealing with love. Love is a commodity. It's something that's like abundant, but yet it's, it's abundant and free. And yet it is, it is, uh, there's a great deal of lack of love on this planet. So love is a commodity. We want to sell it. We want to buy it. We want to, we want to resell, wholesale. We, uh, for the one thing for sure, we want to be the receptor of it. For love is, is an abundant force that comes from within, from our divine source that eventually will we want to bring that love into all the things that we do. And, um, and so as much as possible. For the certainties in 3Ds and the certainties in 5Ds are quite different. For, so this is, it's quite a challenge to, to be, uh, to be uh, for a lot of the certainties of the physical world will, will be challenged to move into the fourth dimension, but we want to already tune into the, the, the ideal of the, of the fifth dimension, the connectivity to the one that is all. And so I hope this message was interesting for you. Did I uh, cover the, the little note? It's okay. I'm going to sing a song. Those paintings behind me, this is, says, I am that I am. Gilles Monsillon, 2013. It's about this great sphere, this white sphere, of sacred light, symbolic, and there is all the galaxies that swings around it. And here it's called, it's called about evolution. There is a symbol of... Um, of the Trinity, and, and then it goes to the, the symbol of the earth, and then there's this like violet fire, this person. Um, and I wanted to, to, to send greetings to, to a friend of mine whose name is Saint Germain, he's an ascended master. He's a friend of ours, he's, he's been working for the earth for a very long time, he had many incarnations. And one of his projects was the United States of America to be able to reassemble all those countries into one uh, peaceful government and then to be able to expand this to, to, to 200 nations or 300 nations around the world. So it is a model, it is a model for the, the, the golden age. and, and uh, Saint Germain is the hierarch of the golden age. For what we, what he has is what we need. We, humans, humanity needs to, 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 to become in some sense. So the, the transmutation flame is the violet fire. But what Saint Germain acquired in his, uh, in his physical life on the earth is the eternal use and infinite abundance. So, he, so because we want to be healthy and and, and free and, and joyful as long as we are needed here, and, and we want to be in, in abundance of material things in order to enjoy our life. So it is, is very a model of empowerment, a good friend. You can call on Saint Germain. We thank him for, for his work. And I know he's working on, on many fronts with many other ascended masters. I'm going to finish the song. It's about the song about the winter. It goes like this. Hold the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. I've been for a walk, been for a walk, on a winter's day, on a winter's day, I'll be safe and warm, be safe and warm, if I was in LA, if I was in LA. California dream, California dream, on such a winter's day. I stopped into a church, I passed along the way. Oh, I got down on my knees, got down on my knees, and I pretend to pray, I pretend to pray. You know the preacher likes the cold, preacher likes the cold. He knows I'm gonna stay, he knows I'm gonna stay. California dream, California dream, on such a winter's day. A song, Dream of California, for I love California, I lived there eight years, and I'm looking forward to return there, but it was very funny this morning when I woke up, I, I got up, I opened my windows to, to bring some fresh air, it was really cold, and spirits took me and, and sent, took me in the mountain, I was in the mountain, and the thought that went through my mind was, oh, I'm going to have to have the courage to get dressed to go skiing today, <laughs> so it was like a feeling, I'm really eager to return to, to the mountains, I enjoy the, the sea, the mountains, so... 
maybe a sign, a good sign. So those are the signs we're looking for. Huh? Uh, the card of the day is the two of Ariel. You must find a balance. Running after more than um, than one, um, uh, running after two uh, two um, in two direction at the same times make every every work more enjoyable. So it's about being uh, for he's got a very strange position here, but it's about the ability to 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 be multitasking, huh? uh, but to find a balance within things. For everything comes down to balance. For when when we see a dysfunction, humanity has a tendency to jump on it and try to get to the opposite end, and then it creates a conflict. And and, and so it's just a matter of balancing things out. We're going to find way out of our problems in the in the future. We're going to be more aware, and we're going to find way way out of our problems with, with a lot less pain that is ne we, we always create more pain and suffering that is necessary for I'm not saying that not everything is perfect for what it serves but I, I'm starting to realize that there is ways to to go about things that will make life a lot easier as we become more conscious well I wanted to come by and say hello wish you a wonderful day thank you for liking sharing commenting subscribing I wish you a wonderful uh, wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you later namaste